What is up everybody? So here we've got an animation of, uh, it's an animation clip and you can see it's a character, throws stuff away, gets up and all that stuff. Now let's say you wanted to edit this animation. First thing you're gonna, sorry, first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna chuck it onto uh, uh, a rig, right? Since it's a clip over here, animation, you can see it right here uh, you're just going to take the body here, you're going to right click, and you're going to say bake, uh, bake to control rig, FK control rig, right? Uh, meta human control rig, sorry, meta human controlling rig, and you're going to click it, and you'll get something like this, and you can just say create, cool. Okay, once you've done that, you'll see uh, that the animation has been muted, and there's a metahuman control rig, and there it is. Uh, problem is, it's got a million controls on it. Okay, so first of all, we want to change this to an IK rig. If you open your metahuman control rig, and you go to global controls here, you can see that we can switch. I typed IK in here, uh, and we can switch the arm, uh, other arm. <laughs> spine and neck okay i don't want those two but now we get these two boxes right which are pretty cool so now you can start animating the uh, meta meta rigging's a little bit better okay so let's say that i want to move this arm make a little bit better animations let's see it goes like through there and whatever right there's two ways you can do this there's the one way i mean something yeah, you see it kind of breaks there. Boof. Anyway, let's see uh, a couple of ways that we can do this. Okay. So, ach no. All right, all right. Look at this. Look at this, kids. So these are all keyed in there, right? All of these ones you can get rid of. All of these ones. So all of the IK ones, you can animate them yourself. It's easier. Uh, but if... If, if it's something that you want, fine, leave them, whatever. I'm going to delete them for now, and I'm going to put them on, because they animate it on every key, which means sometimes they're on, sometimes they're off, okay? Uh, and we want, the, we, we want them to be on. All of them were off. We want them to be on, okay? So, you can see here, they've got a million keys on it, whatever. Uh, but I want to change this, but I can't deal with this data. It's too much. There's two ways you can do this. The first way, all right, is you can go into MetaHuman Control Rig. You can say plus, and you can say additive. It makes another control rig with nothing on it. You see that? MetaHuman Control Rig, and then it puts your two control rigs in there. This one is the one with all the keys. This is your new one. And a nice way of doing this is you can select what control you want. It opens up the second one with no keys, and you can start adding keys to it. So in other words, like let's say we go here, I put a key in it, and if I go here, I can just take this out, something like that. So now you can see, like it doesn't go through there anymore, but there's some weird things happening. But you can clean it, right? It's easy enough to clean. There we go. Right, so let's say we didn't want to do it that way and we wanted to stick to our, our other way. Uh, well, there's another way. You can take this MetaHuman control rig, take the part that you want, okay? So, once you've got this uh, whatever, click this little thing here, show animation keys and curve tool, and now you get the hand control, okay? And what this shows you is all of these curves, which is crazy, mate. Now you can take whatever section you want and you can right click it and you can say filter, right there. Click on the filter, love. And then choose something like smart reduce. Uh, and then you get like a little drop down here. You can put this tolerance to maybe say 20, around about 20 and whatever frames you're doing it at. I'm just gonna put on 24 for now. I think it is, I don't know. And apply. And basically what this does is it will simplify 
all those keyframes for you, which is awesome. Look at that. It's all for that one. It's all simplified, which means it's so much there. Something like this. It's so much easier to go into these keyframes. Click on that keyframe and then just lift this out a little bit. Do something like this. Boom. Okay. So such an easier way now to get this all working. Look at that, love. Look at that, love. Look at that, Jamie. Even here, you can start deleting a couple. It's just so much easier now. Ooh, went right through there, huh? Did you see that? Look at that, I, 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 I. So over here, I'll delete this keyframe. Uh, over here, I'll just move it up a little bit, like something like that. Put it right. There we go. So now there you can see it jimmy it just it doesn't look right i mean i've never seen something do that go through a leg margaret can you see what i'm doing see and then you can just start refining things basic basic stuff man so i hope this one helps this is a great one man this is a powerful tool so now it's all working and you can carry on going you can carry on editing whatever it's so easy from this point because you've reduced those keys and you can just keep adding minusing doing whatever and it just it just works man isn't that lovely look and you can refine you you see like little bumps here and there that's fine look just delete it see yeah oh there's another one I don't know. Right there. There. So easy. Easy. And this makes life of animation so much easier, man. It's fantastic. Just easy to start animating. Things like this. When it starts going through there, you can just start taking them out now. Easy, easy. Uh and this makes your life a lot easier. So when you bake down an entire animation sequence, uh, it's fine. It's all right. Because you can reduce those keys. Remember, you're literally taking uh, the keys that you want, whatever. You're going to right click on it. You know, maybe you just want location. Bam. Or maybe you just want rotation. You know, bam. And you can take the keys that you're looking for. Right click. Say filter. Um, there's a lot of cool filters here, by the way. Smart Reduce, do it about 20 tolerance, whatever makes you feel better. Your frame rate, I think mine might be 30. And that's it. And then from there, it's just lovely. It's just easy. See? Look. Look how easy these things are. Remember, we just did the, the rotations for this one. Yeah, so... It doesn't do all of them it's just the rotations but if i open the hand up and i go to the rotations you can see these keys are just so much easier to deal with now anyway i hope this elf's jimmy is such a powerful animation margaret don't do it margaret it's the weekend i'm gonna lock you up margaret don't do it so what a cool cool thing powerful tools man extremely powerful tools anyway hope you have a great weekend and i'll see you guys later bye guys